Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to TaylorMade Beauty by Chris. Today I'm going through my most recent set of empties and talking about whether I have repurchased, will repurchase, or I'm just going to pass on them all together. So in no particular order, here is some hairspray from Garnier and this is the Sleek and Shine. I like this stuff. It's cheap. I get it at Target. And this is the hairspray I use when I pull my hair back in a ponytail or a bun to hold everything in place. So yes, I will be repurchasing this item. Next is the Dermalogica Superfoliant, the uh, Age Smart version. This is uh, an exfoliator and this one is a little more gentle than the regular one and I use this every morning and have already repurchased it. Um, it does a nice job of a gentle exfoliation and I believe that it's got some anti-aging and uh, pollution fighting properties to it. So this is one that I really like. Um, the deep cleaning oil from DHC. I went through two of these and have actually gone back to the cleansing balm from Clinique Take the Day Off. This worked fine. I just prefer the feel of the balm and also it's way easier to travel with than this is. Next is the Aveda Shampoo. This is the dry shampoo. I love the smell of this stuff. I like the packaging. This is recyclable and you just get a new one. There's no aerosol in it. But I tell you, if you saw my dry shampoo showdown, I'll link it down below for you. I tried like eight different dry shampoos. I have so much dry shampoo I still need to go through. I do not need to buy any for quite a while. Next on my list is a uh, sun protector, SPF, from Color Science, and it's a whipped mineral sunscreen. So it, um, it's thick, I'm pretty sure it's, it's completely empty. No, there was just a little bit, tiny bit left. So you can see it's really thick and, um, you know, it performed well. But here again, my daily wear, my Australian gold tinted, um, is a lot less expensive than this and does a great job. So I will not be repurchasing that. Um, a facial cleanser from doTERRA. If you watched my Do I Need Help video purging all of my face and skin and body care, linked down below for you. You know I have a ton of these, ton of these, so no need to repurchase. I already have a bunch and it is a nice, a nice cleanser. Next, also from doTERRA, is their anti-aging eye gel. And um, again, if you saw that video, you know I've got enough eye products to last me several years. So while I liked this, I don't need to repurchase it. And I, I don't think I would. It didn't, uh, it was fine, but it didn't do anything extra special. Um, Barogio Repair Don't Despair. This is a strengthening and moisturizing leave-in, they call it a leave-in mask. Um, as you can tell, this is kind of a deluxe trial size. I liked it, it was fine, but not enough for me to go repurchase a full-size version of it. Next, ah, my prescription strength tretinoin, and I already have another one of these. Yes, I will always be using tretinoin, it's a Retin-A. Um, I believe it is one of the biggest things in keeping me young looking. So that is already repurchased. Clinique, what is this? Uh, Pep Start. This is a um, like a lip balm, and um, I've gone through a couple of these. I like them at night. Um, right now, I am using one from Laneige. So it's kind of thing, you know, if Alta puts it on sale, I might pick some up, but I don't think I need to repurchase that particular item. Okay, ah, this is Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This was a really nice one that's got avocado in it. And um, if I didn't already have so many eye products, 
I would probably repurchase this. So maybe in a year or two when I run out, I'll try to remember that this is on my list of things I liked and repurchase it. Uh, Colleen Rothschild, the Matcha Tea Treatment Toner. I really like this and I replaced it with something I got off of Amazon that I don't like nearly as much. And so when I have used that one up, I will be repurchasing the Colleen Rothschild one. Sarah B. PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is a great drugstore brand and product for getting your niacinamides and your ceramides. This is one that's in my skincare routine in my morning and night. Link those videos down below for you if you haven't seen those. And this one is one I have already purchased. Uh, Too Faced 24 Hour Shadow Insurance. I really like this eyeshadow primer and I already have another tube of it, but right now I am working my way through another tube I had opened. So this, I won't be seeing this again for a while. What else is in here? Something else from doTERRA. Yes, I used to uh, sell their stuff. This is their facial mask and it's a really nice one. I have several tubes of this. When I run out of those tubes, I will not be repurchasing it. This is from, uh, I believe the company is Og Ogoplex? I don't know. Got this at Target. Weightless oil lifting tonic. Um, to be honest with you, I can't even remember using this, which probably is a good indication that I haven't repurchased it and won't be repurchasing it. Um, the Anastasia brow pencil. There it is. Um, yeah, didn't love it. The NYX one for like, you know, six or seven or eight bucks does probably even a better than job than the Anastasia one was for 22. Not replacing it. Uh, let's see here. The Ordinary Mandelic Acid. This one is in my skincare routine and I have already repurchased this one and use it nightly. Uh, Drunk Elephant Sheba Complex Eye Serum. Clearly a deluxe trial size of this. I liked it, not enough to justify the cost of repurchasing that. And then the last two items I have in here are actually fails. This one is from Incredible. This came in a subscription box. It's a clear, ooh, look at that, it's awful. It's like a clear lipstick with a flower in it and it just, ooh, whoops. It broke like it just did there. It doesn't smell good. There really was nothing redeeming about, about this product. And the last one, Derma Blend Professional Leg and Body Makeup. Now, I gotta say, this product, I don't have a problem with. In fact, this product is great. Um, I tried it out on my legs and it covers up spider veins pretty well. It gives you a nice tan look. Yes, this is used professionally on stage for actors and actresses. Um, the only problem is there wasn't a great shade for me. And honestly, it made my looks, my legs look like Barbie, which is not the look I was going for. So. Thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Tell me in the comments below what are some things that you've run out of that you're not going to repurchase or that you can't stand to run out of. Have a really fantastic day.